Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lauren McKinney and I love making YouTube videos about sustainable style and capsule wardrobe being made easy and relatable. Now for those of you who have seen my previous videos, you'll know that my setup is just a little bit different. And that's because, well, I just wanted to try something new. I've seen a couple of different YouTubers do like um, tea time YouTube videos and I just thought that was such a fun idea, particularly because one, I love drinking tea and two, I don't use my china nearly enough. So I felt like this is just a really good time to cozy up with a cup of tea and talk about some capsule wardrobe tips. Specifically, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to build a mindful wish list for our capsule wardrobe. I find that this is a really pertinent topic during this time of year, since people are doing a lot of online shopping, and people are starting to prepare for things that they would like for the Christmas season or whatever kind of exchange of gifts you do during the December month. I think that Building a mindful capsule wardrobe wish list is a really important step to the capsule wardrobing process because not only does it give you a better idea of the gaps in your wardrobe, but it also allows the people that love you and the people who would like to purchase gifts for you to make mindful decisions that won't lead to mindless purchases. That way, everything that you receive is exactly kind of what you plan for and will end up tucked in a corner, wasting away, or even worse, in the trash. Anyways, before we get into the capsule wardrobe wishlist tips, I just want to say that it would mean so, so much to me if you took a second to subscribe down below if you would like to see more videos like this. And if tea time videos aren't your thing, then that's just fine. I promise you I'll be making plenty of more normal videos in the future. If this is the kind of content that you like and you enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what are some of the things that are currently on your capsule wardrobe wish list that you are looking for over the holiday season and if you've got a cup of tea as well. Let's go ahead and get into the tips. step that I think is really important as you build your capsule wardrobe wish list is kind of a common sense one and this is to go to your capsule wardrobe or your closet and identify the gaps that you have within your closet. I think that it's really important as you take note of those gaps to write specific items down on your wish list. Don't just write general ideas like a sweater or you know a cardigan. I think it's important to specify the kind of item in your wish list. So rather than just write sweater, write cotton v-neck sweater or cashmere crew neck sweater, right? So we're being more precise and letting our future selves know exactly what our past selves were thinking when we wrote down that item. The next step is to determine if this item is a want or a need. Now, many people will tell you that if it's a want, to ignore it, and if it's a need, to pay attention to it. But I think there is something important about the desire to add something to your capsule wardrobe. So just because it's a want doesn't mean that you need to cross it out and forget about it. Rather, if it is a want, maybe put a star by it or write want next to it rather than need. That way, like I said, your future self knows what your past self meant when they were writing this kind of item down. That way you're super clear in your capsule wardrobe wish list and you can determine whether that want possibly turns into a need in the future. If a certain amount of time has passed and the, that item is still something that you really desire, then I think it's smart to make a purchase for that item. You've given it thought, you've given it time. This isn't a quick purchase that you didn't even think about. It's a mindful purchase that you took the time to write down. So it's okay if things are merely a want. The point is to give it time. The next tip that I have for you is that after you've written that item down or those items, try to plan outfits that go with items that you already own or visualize yourself using that item. 
This is a good way to determine if it will actually fill the gap that you expected it to fill. Go online, do some research, type that item into your Pinterest search. Let's say you're looking for like a chunky knit cardigan, which is something that is currently on my wish list. If you Pinterest outfits with that item, you can begin to figure out how that item can be worn, what kind of versatile ways it can be worn, and how will it contribute to pieces that you already own. You don't want to buy an item that you can only wear one way. That's not the point of a capsule wardrobe, right? We're looking for versatility. And so visualizing future outfits and planning for those is a really crucial step to building a mindful capsule wardrobe wish list. Another question to ask yourself kind of during this tip is to ask yourself, do I see myself wearing this item more than just the next few months or few weeks after I purchase it? And if it's a seasonal item, do I see myself wearing this item in two or three seasons to come? If this is a winter item, do I see myself wearing this winter coat next winter and the next? You want to be able to answer those questions because then you can make sure that this item is a timeless piece that you can wear for a long time rather than a trendy piece that, that has just caught your eye. Next, I think it's important that we ask ourselves, where did the idea for this piece come from? This is something that I find myself doing all the time. I keep a running kind of influx capsule wardrobe wish list um, because I'm aware that it's kind of an organic thing that grows and shrinks with the seasons. And when I write something down on that capsule wardrobe wish list, I try to pinpoint where it was that I was inspired to put the item on my wish list. Sometimes it's something that I've been thinking about for a really long time, or an item that I had planned to add to my capsule wardrobe since the very beginning. Other times it's an item that I saw somebody else wear that I really liked on them. So many of the capsule wardrobe greats here on YouTube, like Alyssa Bell Tempo or um, Sina Hansen from Use Less, have wonderful pieces in their wardrobe. And if I've ever watched a Shop Your Closet or a outfit video or a capsule wardrobe video from either of them, I have definitely pinpointed pieces where I'm like, oh, that looks really good on them. Maybe I should add it to my capsule wardrobe list too. And there's nothing wrong with being inspired by other people's capsule wardrobes. That's totally great. But I think it's important to pinpoint the source of this desire because in doing that, we can determine whether or not it stops with that person. Like, will this piece actually look good on me? Will it contribute to my personal capsule wardrobe? Or does it just fill an important need in that person's capsule wardrobe? The next tip for creating a mindful capsule wardrobe wish list is to take note of what pieces are investment pieces and what pieces can be purchased pretty soon in the next couple of months. This is a great practice because it sets up a sort of timeline for purchases and it allows you to document what kind of pieces you need to be saving up for for a long time. For example, Right now in my capsule wardrobe wish list, I have two kind of investment pieces that I would like to add sometime in the future. One of those is a silk scarf from Sabina Savage. I think these scarves are beautiful. If you watch Audrey Coyne at all, then you'll know that um, she often partners with Sabina Savage and just puts together these most lovely, lovely outfits. And I have been wanting a scarf from Sabina Savage for a couple of years now, but they are incredibly out of my price range. And so this is an item that is on my wish list that I know will take a long, long time to work towards. And that's okay, as long as I know that this isn't a piece that I'm just going to buy one day because I can. Another example is a pair of really quality leather Chelsea boots. I have been looking for a great kind of sleek pair of classic Chelsea boots for a while, but so many of the brands out there that have the kind of model that I like 
are very, very expensive. And so this isn't something that I can just sit down one day and decide to purchase. This is an item that I need to mindfully set aside money for to make that purchase in the future. And that's fine. I just find that it's really helpful to try to differentiate what kind of pieces are what. So is this an investment piece that is going to take me several years to save up for? Or is this a piece that I can make the purchase in the next couple of months? By doing that, like I said, you give yourself a timeline and add just a touch more organization to this wish list, which I think is the key to making mindful and intentional purchases. And the last item that I would like to talk about that I think is really important is that a capsule wardrobe wish list is not a static thing. It is constantly in flux, and it should be. Remember that a wish list isn't the kind of thing that you just want to check off a ton of items, right? It's the kind of thing that takes a long time, so slow down. I think one of the greatest aspects of an ongoing capsule wardrobe wish list is that you can write things down and let them simmer for a while. And then when you return to your capsule wardrobe wish list, you can determine whether that thing is still a want or a need, or if it doesn't really serve a purpose for you anymore. I personally have an ongoing Word document on my computer that whenever I think of something that I think would add to my capsule wardrobe or that I think would fill a gap in my wardrobe, I go ahead and I write it down. No judgment, I just write it down. I let it sit there and it takes some time. But the point is to approach this really slowly and intentionally. That way, by the time you make that purchase and have determined that it is something that you do want and need, you can feel 100% comfortable about the fact that that item will serve you and also feel comfortable putting the money in and the investment in to that item. The great thing about a capsule wardrobe wish list is that there isn't really any regret here if you give yourself the time to plan and if you let items just kind of simmer until you return to your wish list. And those are some quick tips for you for how to create a mindful capsule wardrobe wish list. Having an ongoing wish list is something that has really, really benefited me and my wardrobe. It helps me to provide information to those who want to provide me gifts, but it also helps me to make mindful plans for my future purchases. It's both financially and ethically responsible. So I really suggest that you sit down, analyze the gaps in your wardrobe, and create your own capsule wardrobe wish list that is an ongoing project. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed this little tea time with me. Um, if you have a second, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this and see more of me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And leave me a comment below about some of the items that are currently on your capsule wardrobe wish list or if there are any tips that I've missed. It's been an honor to spend this time with you today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I hope that you get the chance to enjoy a cup of tea. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!